events are a special entity and they're located under apps. So if I go to apps, I'll hover over that with my mouse. If we go to events, this is our list of events that is on the site. We can click on an event. We can see the name of it, the description, the date, and in this case, this site has a link that you can put in. So you can update all those, you can save it out, or in this case I'm going to cancel and go back to the last screen. You can go ahead and delete an event. Um, you can see the date at a glance. You can add a new event, which is probably one of the most frequent functions you'll be using. If you do have events on your site, we hit cancel. I'll go back. Now this is showing all the future events by default. You can also click on past. You'll see everything that is past. And you can still go in and edit those if you needed any reason to. Let's say, you know, it's listing as a past date, but, you know, oh, I labeled this as 2015 instead of 2016. You can do that, update it there, and it will show as future at that point and no longer show as past. I'll hit cancel and go back. And just so you have a visual on what the events look like on this particular site. Now this will vary across different sites, but in this example, it's always good to see what the content is that you're updating and how it looks on the site. In this example, for this site, we have the events listing as a little calendar icon for the date and the time, the title description, and just a link to view more info. They have a link for schedule for ongoing classes, and then there's a link for past events.